Welcome back everyone to another Die Con Die sectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to Pussifer Gray Area, which is the next track that I off their off their new album. Now the first thing I'm gonna say is that the name of this song is very interesting to me because I think that things like as a as a um I just turned 17 years old, right? And I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna say it again because you know. Um, it's interesting how when how things once seem very seemed very black and white, and they've slowly blended into this more of a gray area as um, as I've gotten a little bit more experience as a human being. Um, so just the name of the the song's interesting to me. I have no idea what it's about. So here we go. We're gonna start with um, this next song called Gray Area. I've got the lyrics pulled up over here. Um, and yeah, let us begin. The link to the original video will be down below in the description. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, we're doing this entire album, so yeah. Here we go. This song is freaking awesome. All right, let me bring it back. Um, all right, so <laughs> here in the digital paradigm, we're obliterating the lines. This is the age of confusion. So, what's interesting is today, um, there, there. It seems like there once were more. Um, what the heck was that? I apologize if you could hear that. That was so loud. I wonder where that was and how I could make it not do that again. Whatever. Um, in the... where we are right now, um, it seems as though there used to be more standards for different things. There were, there were standards that you would try to live up to, right? Um, now, I personally don't really agree with other people giving you standards to live by. I think people should have their own standard that they hold themselves to, which I think my dad has talked about that. Me and my dad talked about that in a previous video. But anyway, um, so it seems as though there used to be, I guess you could say, uh, boundaries. You know, there, there were more boundaries. Um, and as technology or the digital age um, has grown um i think that a lot of times those boundaries or those lines have been blurred or erased or changed um which is not necessarily a bad thing it is in some cases and isn't in others and obviously where it is where the lines are drawn it's kind of a matter of opinion but yes i agree with what he's saying here it, it's 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 getting confusing my friends there is <laughs> the facts and the fiction is difficult to differentiate and one group of people might say one thing is the fact and the other is the fiction and the other group of people just switch them around it's interchangeable almost this is the age of confusion we have doctored videos and photos and and whole doctored like have you seen there are um influencers you know influencers <laughs> What are you? What, what, what do you do for a living? I'm an influencer. Um, seriously, though, there are, like, Instagram personalities, whatever you want to call it, that are um, artificial intelligence now. Like, there are a few different, like, they were made by, like, art students, and they're fake people. Like, they're not real. They're made by a computer. 
Ah, uh, it's getting weird, friends. All right. It's also it's interesting too. This is not where I expected this song to go, so this is really cool. Let's keep going. Okay, um, wow, it's interesting. Uh, again, I think that they wrote this definitely inspired by what's going on right now. So um, what's interesting is a couple specific lines were pretty interesting to me. He said, hallucinating to survive. So the only way to keep our fake realities that we're almost making up alive, we're hallucinating. We're seeing things that aren't even there to survive or to allow our mindsets to survive here in the digital paradigm. And when it, when before they said so expendable, but if they did not do the thing that they do for All Sensational, which is all the music kind of stopped, and they, they waited a second to add power to when they say All Sensational, which is kind of true. If you look at really almost any news outlet, it's sensational. Sensationalism, you know? <laughs> So let's take a look at what it says over in the corner here. Um, actually, let's start by clicking on these little things, see what else we can add to it. Um, most will have heard of artificial intelligence. Contrary to human intelligence, AI is synthetic and supposed to resemble the mind of a machine or device. It's self-sufficient in the sense that it has the ability to learn or adapt to circumstance. Synthetic intelligence is a related term, but focuses on the claim that the intelligence of machines sh should not be considered a copy or emulation of real human intelligence, but rather its own genuine composition. Okay. Um, you might have encountered Google's reCAPTCHA by solving those you have actually helped an AI used to digitizing books. 
An obvious criticism of AI or SI is that machines, or more ominously, robots, could potentially take over control of the world and uh, take over mankind, even potentially enslaving them. In the process, this is what Keenan alludes to with Verge of Extinction. Okay, um, not sure what I think about that, but all right. Hallucinating to survive is a nice play on the meaning of hallucinating. One would argue that the thought processes of these artificial intelligences are similar to hallucinating since they're not directly connected to material happenings. Fittingly, the digital paradigm is a binary system based encoding of an assortment of reality which depicts a sampling process. The binary system is the essential foundation of anything computer-related. Huh. Oh, is that is that the song facts for the entire song? Nope, this thing. Yes, the binary systems is uh, ones and zeros, right? I know that from uh, freaking the first season of... Uh, <laughs> what was it? Do, 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 do. Truth is out there. X Files. There it is. Yeah. Um, if you were to toggle a single number, the entire result is different, which is also a clever play on words because it can be understood as a description of the potential replacement of humans with robots. Okay, I don't entirely agree with whoever wrote this and their humans with robots. I mean, sure. This like, the song could be about that. But the song feels more relevant to me. Our AI is still in the phase of you could show it a picture of a cat and it'll say it's a dog. You know, we, we, it's it's not quite there yet, I don't think. Um, but, you know, that's just me. Um, a lot of the movies that depict that happening are ones that um, show that machines truly learn. You know, like a robot that is able to increase its own standing by itself. It doesn't need you to upgrade it. You know, it's able to do it by itself. I'm not sure. Eh, I don't know enough about it to really talk about it with any confidence, so disregard anything I have to say. One, something interesting about the ones or zero zeros ones makes me think of inverted, um, or inversion, if that's even a word. No SI override. We're on the verge of extinction hallucinating to survive here in the digital paradigm such a very interesting song all right <clears throat> uh, moving on to the next song on the album so stay tuned for that if you're new to the channel consider subscribing check out all the rest of the videos around maynard james keenan that i've done uh, one of my favorite lyricists uh and singers um and check out the other videos if you want thank you for watching deathstroke nine out see you guys soon we are legion